Hi everyone, I'm Isaac from Climbing for the Rest of Us. Today I'm going to do a quick basic video overview of some things to think about when you're hanging quick draws on routes outside. At first it seems like it would be something that's very basic and very simple, but it turns out that there's some things that you may want to think about so that you can do it in a more safe and better manner. Today for this review I'm going to be doing or using the uh, new Climbtech quick draws. I've done a thorough review of these elsewhere on the blog. Uh, for right now, suffice it to say that um, I love these. They're very nice and I would strongly recommend them. Okay, so um, cl hanging quick draws when you're climbing seems pretty basic. Take it off your harness, clip it in, clip the rope, and move on. But it turns out that it is important to think about how you do this because when a quick draw is hung in an incorrect manner, it brings up the possibility that one of, one of or both of the carabiners can open up and either become disconnected from the bolt or disconnected from the rope that you have clipped into it. So let's take a look at that. When you're climbing, because of the friction of the rope running through the bottom carabiner, your quick draw is going to be moving around on the route. So if the route traverses to the left or to the right, it will pull the quick draw over to the left or to the right. So for example, if a route traverses a little bit to my left here, when I'm climbing, the quick draw is going to move around like this. And what can happen is the gate of this bottom carabiner here could start hitting against part of the rock wall, a feature on the rock, and it can open up like that. And any time you're climbing and the carabiner is opening up, it's obviously not a good thing and it brings up a possibility that in a fall, the rope could hop out. This can happen. It has happened. You can get online and I'm sure find several stories of this happening to people. So it can and does happen, so we want to avoid it. It's also the case, though, that the top carabiner can give you problems. So let me flip this around. And again, let's say that our route traverses to my left. When the carabiner moves over, now we see that the nose of the carabiner here is rubbing against the wall. And it can actually get in here and start sitting kind of crossways, something like that. It's hard to, it's hard to just have it sit here, but you can have it sitting in there. And obviously, if you take a fall on a carabiner, where it's sitting in here weird like this, it's, it's not going to be good. Carabiners are, of course, not made to withstand forces in this direction. So this is the problem. So I hear a lot of people ask, well, how do I avoid this problem? What's the solution to it? And I hear a lot of other people give answers. Well, you need to think about your bottom carabiner. Or, well, you need to think about your top carabiner. And it doesn't really seem like there's a lot of consensus about which way to do this. So let's take a look at focusing on the bottom carabiner. The rule of thumb here, and it's partially correct, is that if the route traverses, again, say to the left, to, to my left, that I would want to hang the quick draw so that the bottom carabiner faces to the right. So that when I clip in and when I'm climbing, the bottom carabiner is going to not be rubbing the gate against the rock feature. Okay, and it sort of solves that problem. But, look at your top carabiner. Now the top carabiner is sitting in here all weird, and again, could start flipping and flopping around, and even the head of the bolt, obviously this is, you know, we're in a gym right now, but, but on an outdoor route, uh, the bolt head would be right there as well, and it can rub against that and cause problems. So, focusing on the bottom carabiner solves the bottom carabiner, but it doesn't solve the top carabiner problem. And the same is true if we just focus on the top carabiner. Now when I'm climbing and the quick draw spins around, the top carabiner is good, the spine of the carabiner here is against the wall, but we run into the problem with the gate of the bottom carabiner. So one very easy and obvious solution to this is to not have your carabiners with the gates opposed, like they, they come from the, the factory this way. If you simply take the carabiner and spin it around so both gates are facing the same way, this solves the problems that we've just seen. So, again, let's say the route traverses to my, to my left. I would clip my quick draw in so both carabiners 
are facing the opposite direction. So when I clip, and this spins around, anywhere it spins, the gates are free and clear of rubbing on anything. The problem with this, though, is if I clip my quick draw in in the same direction the route travels, now both carabiners are going to be facing the problem. So the point of all this is that there's no really easy solution and one way or another you uh, have a chance of running into this problem. I strongly prefer to climb with all of my carabiners with the uh, I'm sorry, with all of my quick draws with the carabiners facing the same direction because I like to be able to know that as long as I hang this correctly regardless of where I climb over here my, my gates are always going to be free and clear but it does mean that when I'm climbing I need to come to my clipping hold, I need to stop, I need to look up at the route and I need to assess which way the route goes but I like that a lot better than just having the gates opposed, not thinking about it, and just clipping it in and hoping for the best, knowing that one of the carabiners is going to be uh, in danger of getting unclipped. So some, some things to think about with a seemingly obvious um, act of hanging a quick draw. Again, I like to take all of my quick draws, spin, the carabiner around so both are facing that way.